What if the site is in violation? Well, what's wrong with this site? So you kind of see, obviously nobody was doing any maintenance. Um, you know, and I hope none of this is in <coughs> your site or looks like your site now. Uh, just make sure, you know, you keep your site clean. It's a good thing for the neighborhood. It's not an eyesore. It's, you know, a lot easier to clean up and that type of stuff. <coughs> First, an inspector may give you a verbal notification that a violation exists in your site. These will be the municipal employees or whoever is relevant for the uh, regulatory agency that's being used. Uh, normally, we try to work with you. We tell you, hey, your site's in violation. Um, this needs to be fixed. We you know, give you a couple of days to get it fixed. Or depends on the severity of the violation. If it's something that's just awful, I mean, yeah. I mean, you should have known that one wasn't going to pass. So just make sure that you know we're going to work with you we're not going to try to try to uh, find you just for the heck of hey we didn't tell you and we're going to stick something to you then the inspector will give you a specific time period to correct the violation 24 48 hours uh, if it's something minor it may be longer than that you know he just may say next inspection make sure this is done a call should then be made to the inspector to re-inspect the site make sure you get him back out there uh, we should be coming out there anyway because we're trying to get a system now where when you're in the computer, we do random inspections every so many months. <coughs> just to make sure your site's in compliance, make sure there's not anything going on that should be going on. Uh, it's just kind of a uh, check for you as well. Uh, we want to make sure that also we're, we're trying to get to a point where when we do an inspection, we can print it out to you and hand it to you. So you will have everything there in your hand about what, we're, what, what we saw, what was wrong. Uh, the final step is the site continues to be out of compliance will be in the form of a formal notice of violation. The NOV will be sent to the owner of the violation by mail. Uh, we will tell you before we do this, this is kind of one of those things that we don't like to do as a health department or I'm sure no building inspector likes to do it either because it just, it's not a fun thing to do and it's not a fun thing for y'all either. But if it just continues to, continues to be out of compliance, and, and the issues are not being fixed, then we have to go this step. You have a specified period of time, usually three or five days to correct the violation, and 10 days to respond in writing. <coughs> if you receive a written notice of violation, it will contain a revocation of your JCDH certification. That means you will have to post a bond. Um, so let's make sure we don't get any NOVs if we can help it. I, I'm personally of the mindset I don't want to have to issue any period. I'm sure most of these regulators in here are the same way. Any violation is not corrected in a timely manner, you would turn it over to the JCH or municipal attorney, at which point legal action will be taken. You know, like I said, the municipality will probably be the one going after you, but it could be either way. I and mean, really, right now, it's in coordination there. What are some improvements that could be made to these sites? Uh, if you just see here, just make sure you, you have a defined in and out. Uh, you have a good place for your see this guy probably had some sand brought in here make sure you have a good place for all your dumps like when you're when they come in and they dump stuff for you make sure you have a good place where you can contain that stuff make sure it's not running off your site make sure that you keep your trash picked up you keep your construction exit pad working fine and your silk fences up and also make sure when you have silk fences always tuck the end around just tuck this it probably will take you a foot or two extra silt fence to just tuck that in. Uh, that way that water won't, won't follow that line. Uh, final inspection, two questions to ask yourself before you call for a final. Is my site stabilized? And we would like five to seven business days, but if you call us, we will try our best to help you out. Um, we're not gonna be rigid about this, this requirement. Um, if we're busy, it may be five to seven days. But if we're not, we're going to try to get out there as soon as we can because we know you're probably closing. We know you're getting ready to sell the house. We know how the economic times are right now. We want to help you as home builders out. We want to get out there and help you. Call the office to set up a final inspection. Our inspectors are in till roughly around 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so call in the morning, you have a much higher chance of getting us from 7.45 to probably around 9 o'clock. Have your permit number ready to give to the clerk when you call. An inspector will call you to set up time for the final inspection. 
Uh, the ordinance allows five to seven business days. Like I said, usually we hope to get to you in three days or less. You know, and like I said, this is kind of depending on factors with building inspectors, that type stuff, how we can get these meetings coordinated with them. Um, because they'll be totally involved in this process. Please do not wait until the day you're scheduled to close on the house to call for an inspection. That happens a lot. Uh, whether it be from septic tank or whether it be for this. Because um, you'll have to get a septic tank approval from us and you'll have to get this or from the municipality. Uh, so make sure you give them notice and us notice that you need an inspection. So are these sites ready for a final inspection? Probably not. Because I mean if you've got that kind of stuff coming off your site, you don't call for the final. Because I mean that's pretty obvious. We don't need that. I mean basically this site, this site needs to be like it's going to be in a year. Uh, make sure that if you've got a slope like this, that you stabilize this, whether it be hay in it or something. Just don't leave just bare earth in the back. Because I know a lot of times I see where a builder goes to the edge of this and stops. This is their yard. I'm guessing that will be their fence line. <coughs> so make sure that you just go ahead and just lay something on this to make sure it's stabilized. But this is a good stabilized yard here. That one's ready probably for a final inspection. Like I said, uh, it looks like it's almost ready. It's got all the sod in place. Everything looks like it's almost ready. If you don't call for a final inspection, even though you will not have a bond that needs to be released, you will still be responsible for the site. If the owner property does additional land disturbing after you finish and left the site, JCDH may not know it, and you're still held responsible. So make sure you have an inspection before you sell that house. Because then if the homeowner comes in and they decide to get a landscaper, which happens more than you know, and that landscaper just comes in there and makes a mess of things, you're still responsible. So you'll have to make up for what that landscaper is doing. So make sure you get that final inspection where you can be clean and in the clear and then whatever the landscaper screws up is on him. <coughs> primarily conditional finals, primarily used in trustful, requires that fund be only put into escrow with an attorney. You know, if, you, if you're in trustful, call them and ask them. They know more about this than me. Um, Stormwater provided, provided by JCH will help you if you need any further questions answered or any further assistance, feel free to call us at 205-930-1230. Um, like I said, if you've got any issues, any complaints, anything like that, uh, you know, make sure, you're, make sure your builders don't, your subs don't dump into the storm drains, don't do something stupid. Make sure they don't dump their paint cans in the storm drains, that kind of stuff, because a neighbor will call on you, and uh, I'd hate to have to come out there. And like I said, you know, we're willing, I personally, and my, I know our inspector is willing to work with y'all on anything we can help you with. Uh, any questions you have, if you've got a doubt, call us. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions you got. So any questions?